guys, and welcome back for week five of Dia of the Week. Um, a collaboration started by Dahlia over at Mandalay Cards and More, and joined by Melinda Davis, uh, Crafting with Isabel, and myself. I'm on board now, and I'm enjoying it. Actually, it's a great way to use up your dies. Now, this week, everybody did something really cool. So I'll leave um, a link to the channels in the description box. you got to go over there and see what they made. you just got to go see it. So I, I was inspired by all of them, equally um, inspired by all of them. This week, though, um, and you can let me know what you think in the comments. Go over and look at Melinda, what Melinda made, okay, on um, Melinda Davis. And uh, like I said, a link in the description box. Uh, I was truly inspired and impressed by what she made this week, T truly. Um, it just absolutely floored me. I, Melinda, it was awesome. It was, it was just really, really cool. And I really, really, really find... Um, fascination. That's one word to describe what Melinda does on her channel. Uh, inspiration and bow down in awe and honor of album maker Dahlia Isabel. Extremely talented and you just never know what she's going to come up with guys. She's just extremely, extremely um, a talent. They're all just absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So anyhow, without further ado, I want to get into what I'm doing this week. You see here before you, um, if you saw my video yesterday, you saw me <clears throat> flip through the um, Georgia O'Keeffe catalog. Um, well, it was a reprint of her watercolors on... 100 flowers okay and a lot of those flowers that was in that um, book are flowers of the southwest like the jimson she called it jimson weed we call it something else um, we call it in Spanish oh, tor, torbachi okay um, so you'll just have to go back and look at my video to see it okay so impressive just by themselves impressive I used this nesting tag die like I said by itself extremely extremely impressive and then those were in the oranges and reds with a hint of yellow and then these was one these ones ones what these ones were a little bit of pink some yellows some dark reds and then again the oranges a little bit of pink there so these I thought yes these match up these match up nicely with the yellow right okay and then it would be next size down which would be this one and I am going to ink the edges and then it would be this one and then it would be that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. But then I thought, what if we brought in more of those yellows? Okay. I couldn't find a cardstock to match this color super good. So that was my dilemma. But let's look at. Let's look at this with some of those yellows, right? Would it be too much yellow? Or should we combine See, that's that's with the yellows. Okay? And I thought that might match up better. And again, I don't know. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, but then again, 
I don't know. This one looked really nice. That one looked good. Okay, this one looked good. Followed by is this one the same size? Yeah, that one's the same size. See, that's almost too much yellow. But I am going to ink those edges, so maybe not. We'll ink the edges, I think, before I make my final, final aha moment. See, that looks okay. And then that looks really good. I like that. Okay, there's one. Then we're going to go with the large one. Next size down. Is that one too much? Yeah, this one might be too much. Same size. Same size. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one and then this one. one maybe and maybe that one hmm or no let's go this one too much red. This one. This one. This one. like that. And remember I am going to ink. And then we got that one, that one, that one, this one, and this one. And I might do an orange set. I'm going to do an orange set for those. Because see I have this <clears throat> I have the orange. And I think for this one that might be a good that might be a good mix. So I don't have to do them all at once. I've got these two. I got these two and now the moment of truth, right? This one might need some more that orange. Yes. Okay. I like those. I'm going to put these away for another time on that. Now, I did do a pocket. I did do a pocket just because I need something for them to, to go in. Okay. So off camera, I'm going to ink these with, I don't know if I want to use crackling fire or candied apple but we'll do that when we come back and then they are designed to fit in here and I think I'm going to take something and put it on here and something to put it on there and we'll do that in our next video so or not next video but in our next segment so hang on guys I'm going to go off camera ink and then I'm going to find something I can put here and there and kind of tie it all in. And I only made one, so I think we're going to work with this set. Okay, guys, so I'll see you here in just a few. All right, guys, I finally made it back. For you, it was seconds. For me, it was about 30 minutes. But I found all my stuff. I went with uh, festive berries. Festive berries. And on the 
the pocket I went with Best of Berries and Aged Mahogany. So it kind of turned out like this purple, purple, purple color. Now on this one, I'm just going to glue it down because I feel like that is bright enough. And then what else did I want to tell you? Oh, I found some charms in a bulb pin to put the um, tags together. So we're going to give this a nice glue. And I used some pinking sheer type fancy scissors. cut out the uh, poppy picture. So this is my Georgia O'Keeffe library pocket with nesting tags. Oops, come on now. With nesting tags and a charm. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish up. I hope you like Die of the Week. Week number four. That's a dash. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A doxy. There was a flower in here. There's a heart. Heart might be nice. And then we got the ship's wheel. A dachshund, a whale tail, a starfish, a flag. There was a little, I guess it's silver. You know, I think I'm going to go with the gold heart because I kind of like that gold against that orange versus the silver. Or do I like the silver flower? Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I think I like the gold. So we're going to go with a gold. Gold heart. And that'll work. And thus, I have made a bright colored something. Usually, I am very standard in my colors. So we're going to go this one. Followed by this one. And again, um... I'm going to encourage you to go over to Melinda's channel as well as Dahlia's and Crafting with Isabel because the collaboration, I got to get busy too. I was supposed to do a, a lap book and then I got sick. Okay, and then our heart. Is that going to hang on there, right? Yeah. Well, no. Nope, that did not work. That did not work. So maybe we'll just do the bulb pin. Okay. Ta-da! I like. I might cut more off of that bottom. Yeah, I think I want to cut more off of the bottom. Just because it, it, it's a little too long. You know what I mean? Just a slightly, lightly, lightly, lightly. Slash that too long. Let's just trim maybe about that much off. And we'll re ink it and we'll call it good. There we go. Look at that. This might fit better. I might want to do around the corners as well. Because that should. There we go. It fits. See, and it doesn't stick up quite so far. Yeah, I think I like that better, guys. We think. Pretty cool. And when you pull your tags out, you have your pretty pocket. And I'm wondering, yeah, I'm not going to round the corners. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it as is. And I may put a stamp or something on those, but I really like the way it looks. All right. Thank you for joining me for week number five of Die of the Week. Now, coming out Monday or Tuesday will be more of the um, journal cover number three. 
I will work on that a little bit and then um, uh, the 28th or the 29th I'm going to have a project share and then July 1st I'm going to have another unboxing I think I've got some Christmas in July stuff coming up as well okay guys thank you I appreciate all of you for sticking around see you next time